In this video I'm going to show you how you use the chord sheet editor to create a chord sheet and to edit a chord sheet. In the overview to the song editor I explained that in the song editor you can either add sheet music, chord sheets or lyrics so I'm going to concentrate on chord sheets in this particular video. So let's add a new song and I select a chord sheet. This area here is just like a word processing editor. I can type in here and anything I can do in a word processor I can do on here. I can type in, I can cut, I can paste, I can copy and do things like that. So I could just start putting in the uh, lyrics to a particular song. So I then decide uh, what key this is going to be in, so I'm going to put this in the key of G. And when I do that, I get some of the common chords appearing down in this list here. To add a chord into the song, I simply click the position in the word where I want the chord to appear above, and then select the chord, and it automatically goes above. I can do the same thing here. And then the next line I can click here, and so on. Now you can tell from this that I am not a composer. But you can see that it's relatively easy. And you can just simply click on a chord line, and if you make a mistake you can delete it, and you can actually just type in the chords uh, using the keyboard as well. So if I wanted to do a, a D7 here, let's go D7. Oops, no, it's got to be in capitals, D7. You'll notice that it appeared in black there, but to check that to make sure that it's a valid chord, I click the parse button and that turns it into red to show that that's recognised now as a chord line. Any chord line that's in red can be transposed, and this is currently in the key of G, so if I wanted to transpose that to F, I can do that there. However, most of the time you will already have the lyrics or in fact the complete chord sheet um, available as a Word document or as a PDF. Now there's actually a separate video on importing chord sheets from PDF, but I'm just going to show you here how you can also copy and paste in a chord sheet from something like Word or off the internet. Let's get rid of that. What I have down here in Notepad is a chord sheet that's been typed in, uh, just a standard chord sheet typed in the text editor. If I copy that, select it all and copy it, and then go to my chord sheet editor and paste it in there, you'll notice that as soon as it's pasted in, the software automatically detects the chord line. This is part of the intelligent chord detection in Power Music, and if there's a line with uh, recognisable chords in it, it will detect it. That means that this is now in a transposable chord sheet form and we can actually go ahead and use this. Okay, so how will this look on screen? Well, we can preview it. Um, it might be better if we actually split this and put it into two columns. So I'm going to come out of here and I'm going to position my cursor at this point and insert a page break. Now what a page break does is it puts it into two columns. So to see it in two columns, I have to go here and say I want two pages per screen, preview it again, and there we have it quite clearly up on screen with the two pages side by side. All that's left to do is to give it a title. Clicking on here, we give it a title. So we add the title, Lohomond. What we can do also is we can now put in the first line since it's a song. We can put in copyright information and we can also go on and do things like put in authors, categories, libraries and all the other things which you can do when you're tagging a piece of music in Power Music. And all of these are searchable of course so that when you're searching for the song you can search for it by title, you can search for it by first line or whatever. But the minimum you have to put in is a title. You can put in as many titles as you want. So a piece of music can be known by multiple titles. If that's all we're doing, we just click Save. And there we have Loch Lomond in our all songs, ready to be used, ready for performing.